the three real conventions on biodiversity, climate change and desertification derived directly from the historic Real Earth Summit of 1992. These are recognized as key instruments for contributing to the sustainable development of the nations of the world. The three conventions are intrinsically linked as they operate in the same ecosystems and address interdependent issues. This documentary will explore the important role of the synergistic implementation of the three Rio Conventions in this regard and illustrate Namibia's commitment and approach to these conventions. Namibia is a vast country with one of the lowest human population densities in the world. Yet Namibia's environment is one that is fragile and vulnerable. An estimated 35% of the country's land mass is considered to be in a degraded state with over 36% of the population affected. Over 90% of the country is characterized by semi-arid, arid and hyper-arid conditions. In spite of this aridity, rangeland farming and agriculture is practiced on over 70% of the country's land mass by an estimated two-thirds of the population. The aridity and climatic variability of the country makes this a risky business and the sustainable management of land is of paramount importance. This risk is amplified by the frequent occurrence of drought events which are expected to become even more frequent and severe under the current climate change scenario. A future of hotter temperatures, increased rainfall variability and increasingly frequent and severe drought events makes it clearer than ever before that Namibia needs to increase the resilience of our communities and ecosystems. The wise management of our land will be the key defining factor in terms of whether we can increase this resilience. This is why Namibia has embraced the concept of land degradation neutrality, which will provide us with concrete targets to reduce land degradation and to monitor our effectiveness in this regard. The achievement of land degradation neutrality will require us to bring together the conservation and sustainable utilization of biodiversity with climate change adaptation so that we are resilient to the increasing climatic variability we are likely to face. Namibia's biodiversity offers significant potential for the country's socio-economic development, with tourism alone accounting for an estimated 16% of the country's GDP. Also, uh, biodiversity, as you know, Namibia is one of the trendsetters when it comes to conservation or management of our biological diversity. We have managed to put most of our territory in the form of um, formal protection, in, in, in the form of uh, protected areas, conservancies, and the formal national parks. So, and this is very important for advancing our and protecting our uh, biodiversity resources. We also known for involving local community in our effort to protect and manage our natural resources. And this is working. Trade in biological resources also plays a significant role in the sustenance of mostly rural communities that rely heavily on these resources and there is great potential to expand this role. Namibia is a home to, to cover 4,000 plant species, uh, a number of which higher potential particularly for the use of medicinal and cosmetic products. Uh, six of the indigenous species are now exported to the international market, uh, while other several products are at the various stages of development. Uh, this offers excellent opportunities to the value additional and the beneficial of our rural communities within the overall framework of success and benefit sharing. Namibia is committed to hands the full potential of it is genetic resources, whilst uplifting the livelihood of communities and creating incentives for biodiversity conservation 
in line with the principles of the Convention of Biological Diversity. Agriculture, including both livestock and crop farming, is the biggest water consumer in the Namibian economy and is recognized as the sector most vulnerable to climate change. In terms of cropland cultivation, climate-smart agriculture and conservation agriculture are increasingly recognized as the way to go. With range lines for cattle ranching and small stock farming covering over 70% of Namibia's land area, their wise management is particularly important. In 2012, the National Range Land Management Policy and Strategy was finalized to ensure that productivity and biodiversity are restored and maintained in rangeland areas. This strategy is directly tackling the highly degraded state of the country's rangelands. It is estimated that livestock carrying capacities on Namibia's rangelands have declined by 60% over the last 40 years, while some 26 million hectares of rangeland are affected by bush encroachment, which reduces grazing availability and causes serious groundwater depletion. Tackling the problem of land degraded by bush encroachment is an important national priority. Clearing invader bush offers potential for employment and has become the basis of a growing charcoal industry in Namibia and has high potential for electricity generation through wood gasification plants. The country is also actively promoting the use of renewable energy sources to ensure access to electricity for our rural communities and to reduce pressure on the country's forest and woodland resources, which are often used for cooking and heating. The Ministry of Environment and Tourism have also conducted the awareness raising on the three Rio conventions. Um, as you may know that now we have got uh, na the National Action Plan on biodiversity, we have a climate change um, strategy, and then we have the National Action Program, which is for the UNCCD on Convention to Combat Desertification. This was done uh, in a sense that we need to make our communities and regional stakeholders to understand the implementation and the status of these three Rio Convention documents for Namibia. What we are doing is now to expand and to implement these three conventions jointly based on those action plans that I have mentioned earlier. We are now even in the process of launching um, a synergy uh, process how Namibia is going to implement this, uh, these three conventions. Uh, we know it's going to work, we know it worked and we, what we're going to do is to upscale our, our approach and make sure that at least we implement these conventions together to maximize our efficiency in terms of the resource that we have and to make sure that we, we achieve the objective of those conventions. Thank you. Namibia has experienced very worst years of drought ever since um, 100 years ago. This year and last year we have um, severe drought that also caused um, very serious um, damage not only in our community but to the entire economy of Namibia. As a Ministry of Environment and Tourism, which is the custodian of environment, we are also the focal point of um, our three conventions of the United Nations. The Convention on Biodiversity, then the Convention on Climate Change, and also the Convention to Combat Desertification. We are committed to the implementation of these conventions. Um, Article 95 of our Namibia Constitution um, gives us 
that mandate as a ministry we need to conserve to protect and preserve our biodiversity and ecosystems and uh, when you look at the three conventions after we have been implementing these conventions we have experience on the implementation and we feel that um, the three conventions we need some kind of synergy um, to synergize the three conventions because not only that these three conventions are operate on the um, same ecosystems but also that we need to um, handle our resources carefully to put together our resources and uh, coordinate our position in these three conventions. Um, it's also important that uh, for now it's a matter of collective survival. Uh, this um, climate change has really caused so many things. Um, it has also the capacity to cause the um, to undo our gains that we have uh, gained for the past years after independence. We feel that it's also important to coordinate with other countries as well, and uh, in order to implement uh, our programs. As a country, we have put up strategies and policies, and we are ready to implement those policies and strategies. And uh, we are now trying to ensure that um, we work on adaptation and mitigation in order to um, uh, 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 prevent or to mitigate the effect of climate change. The climate resilient economy is what we have to adopt in order to survive.